Sprites, I, I saw them on a documentary once and I kind of became fascinated with them. I've been trying to capture them for a while, so it's kind of all snowballed into a semi-obsession. <laughs> to look at that one again. My name's Paul Smith and I'm a sprite chaser, which means I like to photograph the night sky and sprites in particular. They look like to the naked eye, you would probably see them as flashes above thunderstorms. And then the camera picks up more of the colors. Nice red, orange, sometimes purple colors. I would say the region of space about the thunderstorms is almost like an electrical zoo. We have this collection of electrical activity. We have blue jets, gigantic jets, trolls, halos. It's almost like an electric fairy tale. Sprites is just one of many. Collectively, we call these transient luminous events. Sprites are like snowflakes. They come in various shapes and sizes. So we call them angel sprites, carrot sprites, column sprites. They're just beautiful to look at and just the fact that no sprite is identical to the other is good enough reason to study them and look at them all day long. You're never going to get bored. So sprites are very large scale events. Um, their width is usually up to 5 to 10 kilometers and their vertical extent is about 40 or 50 kilometers. You can almost fit a small town in there. Because these sprites are very large-scale events, they change the atmospheric composition, and we don't know the extent of this effect. So it's important to um, study them uh, in the long run. It's just a real cool thing to be able to shoot and see these things that uh, nobody else is, is really getting on a regular basis. I saw their phenomenal images and I wanted to work with them and leverage their images and data collection and it sparked um, this idea in my head, what if I created a citizen science project that I can connect the public with the scientific community so we can um, further our understanding together. With this um, new citizen science project, our goal is to create the first ever comprehensive database of sprites. I'm very excited about this. I know there are a lot of people out there who are naturally chasing sprites. So I'm asking all sprite chasers to submit their images to us. It's like a puzzle. They provide one piece, we provide the other, and we solve it together. 